Critics are calling a possible prisoner swap between Islamic State and Jordan a dangerous precedent as the world waits to see whether an exchange actually happens and how. This is a voice message I've been told to send to you. A new audio message released Wednesday night by social media accounts linked to Islamic State present an ultimatum. If a convicted terrorist being held by Jordanians is not released by Jordanian authorities and delivered to the Turkish border by sunset today, a Jordanian pilot being held captive by Islamic State will be killed immediately. Jordan has agreed in principle to a prisoner swap, but on Thursday demanded proof from Islamic State that its pilot, Muath al kasazba is still alive. He had been captured in December after his plane crashed in Syria. Would Islamic State also release Mr. Goto? That's not known. After his friend was apparently executed by Islamic State, the militants changed the terms under which they would release Mr. Goto, saying instead of money, they wanted Sajida al-Rishawi released. Who is Sajida al-Rishawi? She's a would-be suicide bomber who in 2005 attempted to blow herself up as part of a group of al-Qaeda suicide bombers attacking hotels in Amman and Jordan. She failed and has been sentenced to death by hanging by the Jordanian government. Does the U.S. support the exchange? The White House says U.S. policy is we don't pay a ransom, we don't grant concessions. ISIL's gotten in the millions of dollars from kidnapping of Western citizens and obviously we believe very strongly that we need to cut off their funding. Both the U.S. and Britain have long pressed allies not to pay ransoms to Islamic State and until now the militants haven't publicly demanded prisoner releases. That said, Western diplomats believe that last year Islamic State made tens of millions of dollars from ransom payments, including allegedly millions of dollars per hostage from France and Spain. Didn't the U.S. do its own prisoner swap recently? Yes, the U.S. released five Taliban prisoners in 2014 in exchange for Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. He was being held by the Haqqani Network, an insurgent group in Afghanistan. But the White House says that situation was different because it was an end of conflict action in support of its principle of leaving no man or woman behind. That often means prisoner exchanges with enemies. How is exchanging prisoners with Islamic State different? It's the first hostage release deal to be openly negotiated between a government and Islamic State. And that could, say analysts, lend legitimacy to the militants and encourage further hostage taking. Why is Jordan doing this? The swap would run counter Jordan's hardline approach toward Islamist militants. But protesters and Mr. Kasazba's father have been pressuring the country's prime minister to meet the demands of Islamic State. Now that Jordan's government has agreed to a deal with Islamic State, the question is, is Islamic State an honest broker? That's the short answer.